everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. Welcome to my channel. It's my daily vlog, so whatever I'm up to is what you're gonna see here. And today, I am back at Brookfield Place. It has been a little while since I've been here. Now I'm here today because they have art on display. They have something called can construction, like construction but with can. And what it is, is sculptures constructed out of sealed food cans. So like, think of like canned tuna, right? So sealed food cans constructed into sculptures. And it is done in contest form. You can vote for your favorite. And the cans then, I believe, get donated to City Harvest, which is a fantastic uh, nonprofit charity in New York City that helps to feed the hungry New Yorkers. So. It's a win-win. We got art and we have charity. So let me show you what some of these sculptures look like. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs. Let's go. So this is the first sculpture I have found. And this is made out of tuna fish cans. And it is made by C-R-T-K-L. Let's take a look at all the angles here. All, right. all of those are tuna cans. Okay, so this next one, it's interesting because I can see the happy face in the camera, but it's not as obvious in person. It's much more subtle. But this one is called Yes, We Can, and it's made by HLW International. And the main ingredients here are beans. So chickpeas, catalini beans, tuna, corn, all sorts of stuff. I also find it interesting on the signs, it actually says how many New Yorkers the number of cans in the sculpture will feed. So for example, this sculpture of happy cans, like this one of beans, it will feed 1,872 cans and it feeds 1,714 New Yorkers. Pretty incredible. Oh my goodness, I'm super excited for this next one. I, I walked over and lo and behold, to my surprise, oh, you're never gonna guess who it is. It's the one, the only, the Grogu, constructed out of bushes beans. We have corn, we have butternut squash. Looks like some asparagus, some mushrooms, some bottled water all sorts of great canned foods and it's shaped like Grogu! Oh my gosh! Look at that, that's so great! So this display was made by Urban Architectural Initiatives and the mission statement in a galaxy far far away. Grogu has a huge voracious appetite frequently on his mind and it needs to be satisfied with tasty snacks like frogs. Next up, Wakanda Forever. We have the Black Panther. Look at this. Look how great this is. <laughs> and this is all made out of safe catch tuna. For the Wakanda Forever sculpture, will feed 1,897 New Yorkers. Oh, this one is so great. It's, it's hitting me in the nostalgia. Oh my gosh. It's Link on Epona. It's just called Link on Horseback, but it's Epona. Oh, I have like the, the Link music in my head now. Do 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 So Link back here is made up of salmon, sardines, and tuna fish. Does anyone want to take a guess how many New Yorkers Link will feed? Put in the comments. I'll let you know if you're right. Over here we have the Can Oasis, and this is made by Perkins Eastman. And the cans that they used are tomato paste, beans, peas, sardines corn, crackers, pasta, and raisins. Now, to me, this thing reminds me a lot of like the jungle gyms that were in the playgrounds when I was growing up and you had to climb on this thing. Um, obviously, you don't climb on the sculpture, that would be bad, but it reminds me of that piece of playground equipment. 
This next sculpture is called Solution to Hunger, and this is by Simpson, Gumprez, and Heger. And this is constructed entirely of tuna fish. Now it's hard to read the letters in person, but you can see them much more clearly on the video. And it's almost like, like Scrabble, like the way that the letters intersect. It says fruit, help, bread, drive, plate, and share. Next up we have this ship called Gazing into the Kansmos. So it's supposed to be like a spacecraft, I guess, or, or a telescope. But this is made up of sardines, various vegetables, and a whole lot of beans. It actually says that. It actually says a whole lot of beans. And this sculpture will feed 2,747 New Yorkers. Yes. Going down the escalator and there's a cat we're, we're heading right to a cat. Okay, so I'm down here by the cat. And the name of the sculpture is called Bodega Cat. Now, if you've ever been to New York and you've been to a bodega, you know about the Bodega Cat. They help keep the mice away. They keep it a clean and, you know, great environment. And lots of the bodegas have them. They are certainly helpful. So, this is the Bodega Cat. And this bodega cat is made out of tuna, great northern beans, sliced peaches, black beans, and tomato paste. That is a tasty and nutritious bodega cat. Next up, we have the breakfast of champions. Any good New Yorker will tell you what to have, and that's a bacon, egg, and cheese. And you just kind of run it all together into one word. But in this case, it's a bacon, egg, and cheese. Get it? Because cans? Yeah. This is great. This is clever. I love it. And this one is called Tackling Hunger, made by KPFF Consulting Engineers, and it's made of mixed vegetables, tuna, and tomato sauce. I don't know, this one does not seem as clever as some of the other ones. I mean, it is a good piece of engineering, but the humor that some of the others have is, is missing here for me. Then this one, we have some patriotic sentiment going on here with an American flag and as we turn the corner on it look at that it's encouraging people to vote because voting day is next week see anything on the back oh, just the stripes and this one is called ballot for a better palate and it's made of tomato sauce black beans pumpkin puree canned tuna and sweet corn and it was made by NV5. This next one, kind of heavy on the puns. It's Bucking Can Palace. So we might not be in England. This might not be Buckingham Palace, but we have Bucking Can Palace made entirely out of beans. Yep, that happened. Next up, we have an uncanny hot air balloon made of beans, corn, soup, and chili. Oh, and they're made out of Amy's. Amy's is good stuff. It's like very healthy ingredients in Amy's, and you can read everything that's on the label. And this was designed by Arup. So next up, we have a meal fit for a king. And this is made by Microdesk, and it's constructed totally of tuna. Yep. Let's get closer and you'll see it is all tuna. This is actually pretty impressive. Let's walk around, see the sides, see the back. Look at that. That's a lot of work and thought that went into this. I am definitely impressed with this one. This next one is called Pump Can Pie. Try to imagine what you think this looks like. Okay, I'm gonna give you a minute, think about it. What will Pump 
can tie look like? You got it? Okay. Is this what you were thinking? Was, was this what you had in mind? Pie made out of cans of pumpkin, but pie like 3.14? That's pretty clever. I think it's clever. This one's like a water droplet is what it's designed to look like. And it's, the name of it is, what are you doing to end hunger? So it's a droplet. It's a drop in the bucket. And it's all tuna, but it's plant-based tuna. This is vegan tuna called Tuno. So this next one is called, Can You Believe These Prices? And the mission statement is with inflation soaring to new heights, food scarcity remains a major crisis in the United States. Help us deflate hunger can by can. And this sculpture, is going to be able to feed 3,595 New Yorkers. Look at that. We have this sculpture right here and it's called Erasing Hunger by Thornton Tomasetti made out of tuna, sardines, salmon, and corn. So see it says hunger, and this, this is like a giant pencil, and he's erasing the hunger. See, he's erasing it. So these sculptures were absolutely fantastic. They were impressive, they were creative, they were um, like timely, both in pop culture and in political statement. Like, they were fantastic. I loved it. I love the thought behind these. And that these cans are all going to be donated to City Harvest to help feed hungry New Yorkers. That's just so wonderful. It's a wonderful combination of art and helping those in need. And I am delighted that this exists. So with that, I am done for the day. And I will see everybody soon. And until then, stay inspired by everyone. Take care.